Hey everybody, continuing on with friendships this week, we are going to talk about teaching loyalty as a family value. Now loyalty is a huge part of friendship, at least those that are the lasting, enduring, deep friendships that um, really mean something to us in the end. Remember last week we talked about the differences or sharing the differences between acquaintances and true friends with our grands. Well, it's important once in a while to be a little bit introspective and think about that ourselves too. And loyalty is a part of that. You know, there are some friends in our life that we just will always care for, will always be a part of their life, whether we're intimately involved on a day-to-day -day basis or we just touch base once in a while, but you've developed that level of trust and loyalty that you'd be there for them no matter what. That's a true friend. So teaching loyalty as a family value. First of all, when you're working with children and young adults, define what you're talking about. You know, many times I'll say something to my grands and you get kind of that look or that nod like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you just get that feeling that they're really not connecting. And if you ask them, do you know what I mean? And they go, mm-mm. <laughs> so they've been very happy to nod and smile and say, of course, nanny, of course, nanny. But they don't really understand. And grands, it's so, or grandparents, it's so important to help them understand. If we want to teach them, if we want to guide them and influence them, make sure that they're understanding what we're saying. So starting point to teach a value is define what that value means. When you use the word loyalty and you're teaching your grandchildren about it, talk to them about what loyalty means and find an age appropriate way to define it. You know, in its basic definition, it's a strong feeling of support or allegiance. Well, how do you describe that to a four-year-old, a 10-year-old, a 15-year-old, and a 20-year-old? Because it will change over the course of those ages and levels of maturity, their ability to understand what allegiance and support means will change. So change along with it, talk about things with them at an age appropriate level. And then exp explain consequences of not living up to a value. Um, when we're teaching family values, there are always reasons that that value is important to our family. So share with them why it's important, what it is, but then also what are the consequences of not holding that as a value and living accordingly. And of course, in the context that we're talking about today, family or um, friendship, if loyalty is not present, then the friendship typically will break or it will be very shallow, very surface level friendship, not a deep lifelong bond. So talk with your children, your grandchildren about consequences always of broken values. Now, I am not a big fan of because I said so. <laughs> I really tried hard when I was parenting not to use that. Now, on occasion, did that mean I ended up in long discussions with my children that they weren't really connecting to? I suppose so, it probably did. But I felt like I needed to respect that they were a person themselves developing enough to give them reasons for the things that I was telling them. I wasn't pandering to them. I wasn't um, trying to overload them. I just wanted them to understand so that as they grew, they would mature. The other thing I see with the because I said so type of mentality in parenting or grandparenting is it tends to breed a lot of resentment and anger. And that's not going to be healthy in the short term or the long term. So along with explaining consequences, I said all of that about because I said so to say this, explain to them why the value is important. You know, what is it about loyalty that is important 
in the context of friendships. What does it mean to be loyal to another person, to be that one that's willing to take the phone call at midnight or um, willing to go out of your way to help a friend? Um, why is that important? You know, there's a trust level. There's a um, there's that thing that we all need once in a while to know that someone is there for us when we're suffering. Also, someone's there for us when we're experiencing joy and happiness. And that is a part of loyalty. So explain that to your grandchildren. Um, we've watched a really fun thing with our granddaughter over the last couple of years. She's developed a really close friendship with a young lady that's in her school. And it's just fun to see how much those two like being together. <laughs> and that is a great thing. That's an example of loyalty. And they talk to each other and they help each other and they enjoy school together and they do projects together. That's great. That's what we want them to have. We also need to help them understand why it's important to work on it so that that stays in place. You know, when that friend says something that they don't like, you know, and we've all heard this from children, you know, such and such said they weren't my friend anymore because of this or that. It happens. We can be supportive, talk to them about loyalty in those moments, and help them learn how not to be a friend that gets mad at the drop of a dime and says, you're not my friend anymore. Okay, let's lose some of the drama and find more of the joy in our friendships. Talk to them about failures in friendships because they will have those moments where somebody says, I'm not your friend anymore, and they mean it. Kids do this. Kids can be really cruel to one another. Help them learn from that. Comfort their hearts. You know, let them know other friends will come along. Comfort them but help them to learn and to move on and to be a better friend, maybe because of the pain they've suffered in the loss of a friendship. So question today, how have you shared the concept of loyal loyalty with your grands or have you, have you ever thought about it? You know, sometimes we, as a mature adults, we think about these concepts but we think maybe it's too much for young minds and hearts to understand. Break it down to a level they can understand. They'll mature wiser and smarter and stronger than we might have been at other ages. And trust me, in this crazy world, they need all the inner strength they can get because they're facing some difficult issues in our modern world. Be grand, my friends. Mm -hmm.